Bam! Oh my god, those things do so much damage. Now let's do another bombardment from the hero. Bam! Oh, so good! We lost most of our troops. We don't have anyone left because those guys just decimated us and... Oh! This is so stupid. What's up, guys? It's Tenkosh, and today we have From Glory to Good, the game survival strategy game, just like they are billions. I did a video on this and it screwed up, so we have to do another one. Let me tell you how the game is. So let's go into the start of the game. Here you can select the length of the game and the difficulty. The thing is the difficulty, uh, it's pretty hard. I played it on the Settler difficulty and on Long Glass time, we'll do the same because I barely survived and it's really hard. All right, and you can select different horde factions. So yeah, you can have different enemies here. There are one, two, three, four, five different uh, enemy hordes planned. Moreover, you have different areas and depending on the area, you will have, uh, well, probably different layout, different looks of things. So we'll play on the Oasis, something more basic. Then we can select a captain. There are two options right now. We got the Admiral and the Robocist. This dude allows us to mm, produce faster, faster construction speed, some better troopers. Interesting. This is pretty cool. And this is normal human commander. So let's play as this one because I know him. And the unique thing, we have the spaceship. The spaceship in the game is your additional support mechanics and you will need you will need to work on that so let's see what we have those are all tiny let's go with the big gun and um it's damaged so we'll have to repair it a lot but it also have um options to put a lot of stuff over here special feature exploring modules will have a chance to find the resources so let's start the game and there we go that's our main building here and we get some basic units the thing is just like the abilities if you don't know that game uh, you are fighting against time. We have cycles here. Each of those lasts, I think, 20 seconds or so. And at 43 cycles, the enemy wave will come. And there will be several waves that we have to fight off in order to survive. So um, our priority here is to properly defend our base. That's pretty hard. We have mountains around. That's way easier already. So uh, yeah, first thing we want to do, we want to scout around. We want to send the guys in all the areas to see uh, what's there. Where is our hero? We have a hero here, that big guy. We will use attack move in order to move. That will allow us to properly secure the areas. Now, uh, what do we need to do to progress? We got different resources. Effort, which is being produced by population. It's, that's like money, basically, the resources that you have. Crystals, that are resources that are being harvested, the basic resources that you harvest. Then you get the ore, which is even rarer resource, rarer. <laughs> and isotopes, which I never got, so I guess they're harder to get. So let's start by building the habitats right next to this building. And uh, last time I built right next to this, and uh, my units had issues moving around, so I will have some spacing here. The thing is, if you will have too many of them and the enemies will get to them, once they break one of those buildings, that will spawn more enemies and that will... Um, snowball pretty fast and that will wreck your base so let's do oh yeah in order to build stuff they have to be connected to the base here you can't just build stuff in the random places moreover in order to support those buildings we will need pumps pumps can be built on the green land and they basically harvest water out of the green land they are oh this is interesting so this is considered the green land as well so yeah uh what they do they well, yeah, they, they just use this land in order to get the water. So let's get one over there and connect it with the road. There we go. That will allow us to get the water that will support the uh, basic buildings. Moreover, we will need electricity. We have solar for that. And uh, I would like to place it a bit further away. So uh, solar panels are interesting because they need to be placed next to each other in order to be more efficient. So that will require us to move them around a bit. Okay, we will need someone to protect that area. So let's send that fell over there. This dude is fighting here. It's good. And uh, we want to make sure that no one will come to our base from the side and destroy everything that we've created. We are losing power. So that can be fixed by... Let's make a road here for now. Okay. That can be fixed by building this solar panel. And our hero got the level up guys can level up which is pretty cool 
increase the attack speed by 50 periodically. This is cool. Let's go with this one. So that's the passive ability, basically. You get active abilities, you get passive abilities, you get special things that can be used, and you can select different weapon, which is nice. Enemy commander revealed, we got the sludge. Uh, reduced number of aliens in each wave. All aliens have additional armor and greater proportion of low burst in waves. That sucks. That's ranged enemies. They do a lot of damage and I don't like them. So what do we do now? We build more habitats in order to um, get more effort income. Then uh, we would like to place the mines. So that's the first mining hub that we can make and... Uh, Honestly, like, we would like to build it there, but it's so far away. We will place it here instead. And another one right here. Uh, we don't have enough resources for that. And, yeah, same thing. They have to be connected. What's cool, this road, it doesn't really... Or it does now. It doesn't affect those pumps, so they kind of harvest the same amount of resources, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, you can see that areas have the borders here and those borders are where the enemies are if our units will go into the area of orange and especially red area they will start spawning and in order to counter that we will need thumpers thumpers will prevent enemies from well doing what they're doing spawning and uh, i actually want to place one right here because i want to conquer that area kind of we need crystals for that so we need to get the mine working to start getting the crystals come on one more crystal thank you there we go so we build that we are lacking water so we gotta micromanage the water production all the time too close to an enemy okay let's go and defeat the enemy okay we can build the pump now right where this guy is standing all right so we opened up this area and it seems pretty much secure which is pretty cool because as you can see like this area is oh yeah they can move there but this area cannot be moved the mountains obviously can be moved so the enemies here they can't really do much under attack okay my building's being attacked there i forgot about building it there so we need to protect it and fast before it's been destroyed okay we secured it that's good that's good so now uh the wave will be coming sooner than we expect so we need to get ready for that by securing our perimeter by building turrets and recruiting more units uh first of all we need more of those things this will be a good spot for the mine i think i gotta see what's there though so yeah while we scout in that way we can pretty easily build another mine here that will help us to get more of those resources and that would be nice yeah like that and also we would like another solar panel because our energy is going down and we need to connect this here there we go the only problem is that right now this area is, isn't really well secured because the enemies are everywhere so it's really hard like they can come from any angle and we might not be able to protect our base from that oh wow that's a big guy why he's here no run oh barely survived okay good so yeah i think we can secure this area right here because we can wall off build towers here and that will be good enough also use this area for mining all right are we good in terms of energy yes are we good in terms of mining no so we need more solar panels okay done yeah let's start securing the position so first of all i would like to build additional mining hub here or maybe over there yeah screw that we are building the gateway instead so gateway we're under attack where okay we're good and uh, we can create the small tower not enough crystals ah that will allow us to protect this area so something like that for the tower the gate this area is, will be more secure than it was before oh look at that this fella is going straight for my base so if he will destroy one of those buildings we will be in trouble Woo! barely made it let's repair everything so there we go the tower is being constructed that will secure this area a bit let's see yeah this is totally safe location some enemies might spawn there but i think the tower will take care of them so that's pretty good already oh my god those guys are coming we need more troopers oh we have one over here so we can send him away all right we have some level ups here as well fire rocket at the target location fire stream of liquid to napalm and uh, drop the damage any enemies i don't know that some seems melee a bit let's get this rocket thingy that's a special Heal, so we can use it later okay no now 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 what do we need to do since this area is more or less secured we got at least we got this 
and uh, it consumes a lot of energy so when you start build, building those laser turrets you would like to get more solar panels we will need to start securing our positions a bit tougher there we go repair this i see someone coming I, oh oh there are several of them let's build a goddamn barracks so we can get more units to protect ourselves I think we'll place it here because this area is pretty much useless for us and we can use it for basically whatever. We just need crystals for that. Can we build a better mine somewhere here? Six, seven there, three, four. Yeah, I think we can build one mine over there and one over here actually. That will give us pretty decent amount of resources. All right, we have the water here. So that's another good way to defend the area. And uh, the thing is the enemy, uh, the enemy wave isn't that soon so we still have time to prepare i just don't feel like enemies zerging on me like that all right we secure the base that's good and maybe we need more habs habitats are really important and we would like to have a lot of them moreover i think i want to expand towards this area up front so i'll build another thumper right here and we will secure it because since we're building housing here, we want to make sure that this area is protected. And we see a lot of enemies there. So let's make a road here right now. And are we ready for the barracks? 15. It requires 15 of those crystals. Now we need a bit more effort. So we're really close to that. Maybe next tick. Yeah, meanwhile, this area on the south isn't protected at all. So yeah, that's the problem early game. You have to kind of defend everything. We got the rare stones here, which is really cool. So once we clear this land, we'll get some more grass and we can get those rare stones that will help to boost our production of uh, important things. Good. Moreover, I can see that we can easily defend here and somewhere here probably. So that's uh, not a bad start, guys. Can those guys fight already? I'm not sure. Let's send them away. Maybe they will start attacking the enemies and secure the location. Maybe not. Who knows? Well, I should know. <laughs> but I don't. Let's get the barracks down. And once the barracks will be in place, that will allow us to get some decent defense. Yeah, I would like to start getting those ores as soon as possible, honestly. Like, that would really help. There is someone coming over there. Oh, we don't have the connection for the barracks. All right, are we good? Yeah, we should be good. I have to be extremely careful at this point because uh, we can easily screw up and lose most of our guys here, like really fast if I will just get distracted by something. Let's get additional water pump right here. Not enough effort. Okay, we will need it for extra housing. All right, our guys are still trying to defend the area. We're losing water right now in a really big amount. Let's get the water building. And now we don't have enough effort for anything. The good thing that we have way too many crystals. So we can finally get to the ship production. Finally. So what about the ship? It have the power, thrust efficiency, and crew efficiency. And basically, it can do a lot of stuff. We will start with something that I really need, more resources. So we'll get manufacturing zone here. It will consume some resources, but it will actually... Is it consuming? I'm not sure. We will see. Uh, that will send us the effort, which will really help. That will be the, the, like, the basic thing that we can do. And all the ship upgrades cost only crystals. So if we have really good production of crystals, we don't really have to worry about enemies going anywhere and doing something that we don't want them to do, so that's really neat. I think we still have to protect this area, so the enemies will be spawning there and coming for us. All right, we got the barracks down, so let's get some troopers ready. Neat. That will allow us to get a basic defense force. Oh! that we can send somewhere all right and i think i want to send my hero down here and send those guys over here for now for defense since i want to start expanding and defending i would like to take this place as well because we can wall off really easily over there so something like this i should say would be a good idea all right yeah the laser tower is really handy over there it's defending from a lot of enemies okay now we're waiting for this to be constructed hero go over there i want to see what's there oh so dark he buffed himself and the attack rate is so high right now let's build a drill mine straight away since we can't do that okay and send this fella somewhere there we need a bit more we can start we should actually start sending a lot of units out let me show you the skill those guys are tough right bam not anymore because we got the skills all right we secure the area more or less you see this guy the red fella this is the one that's used ranged attacks i guess well some variation of that guy maybe i don't know what about this missile ah it's a single missile okay 
So we kind of took out most enemies, right? And here we got the mountains that will allow us to properly defend. If we just need to expand, we can move sideways. Uh, how much time do we have till the wave? Not enough. <laughs> As always, not enough. But the cool thing that we have really decent production of stuff. Can we get another pump somewhere nearby? We can get one here. And I want another thumper. Thumper. I want to protect this area, to be honest. So we will build one here in the dangerous area. So that's a risky way of doing stuff. It will be attacked by enemies. But by building it there, we will be able to expand further out. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I hate that. Sometimes you get sneaky enemy going through the defenses and destroying your well base defenses so the enemies can't come through this area that's nice they can go only through that way that means that we are way better right now in terms of defense why those are off uh, because we don't have power that's why oh my god where do we place the power though uh, let's place it here there are some guys destroying my stuff multiple of those guys by the way oh my god we're so screwed yeah that's what i'm talking about this is risky, but the risk usually worth it. Not in our case, though, <laughs> because we lost resources for nothing. Let's send reinforcements here. Since we're producing more units, they can be out and help us. Now, uh, for the spaceship, as we build more stuff, we will lose power, and that's not good for us. Also, we have lower thrust efficiency. That means that the ship can be boarded, so we will need to build other things on the ship. We will build additional engine right now, and next thing, I want to build the reactor, but it needs... I don't know, we can build it right now. So, that will allow us to get some... Oh my god, those guys are coming straight away. Oh, they just spawned out of nowhere. Yeah, we really need some additional troops here. So yeah, that's what happens when you are sending your guys in the wrong place. You guys go defend. The hero will help, help over there. Alright. Uh, now, as you can see, most areas here are a bit damaged. So we can repair them. That costs crystals as well. But in the end... That's pretty useful. The enemies are spawning because we are in the yellow zone, I guess. So we just need to endure until this. And now, suddenly, all this area is so safe. So we don't need to build any defenses here. This is so cool. We just need to get rid of those guys. And we are golden. So basically, this area cannot be attacked anymore. Can we use it for more ore? Not really. We can move this ore building south a bit. That should allow us to have more. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six slots. Yeah, let's do that. And we will demolish this one a bit later though, not right now. So, okay, now we have some small uh, group of units that can move around. Oh, okay, those have been attacked. That's nice. And the enemies will be coming in five turns. I need to figure out how to defend myself. Let's send the guys out here and out here to get rid of those fellas. We got the basic defenses here. And we have nothing over here and over there. Although, to be honest, I think once we will know where the enemies will be coming from, if we will save up enough resources, we will be able to defend against them pretty easily. Especially with extra troops and the heroes with the skills. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. They will be coming from the left. So they will either go here. If they will, they will be ripped. We can build additional... I, I'm pretty sure they will get here. So let's get additional laser tower here for defense. That will be more than enough to take them out. We can send out troops there as well. Moreover, well, I don't know if we need to make defenses here right now because they will most likely follow here or here. So instead, I say we go to the top and secure this passageway. So let's make the... Okay, get rid of enemies. Yeah, that would be more important, I think. Let's connect it. I'm pretty sure if the enemies will get there, we will have issues. So, okay, our military is here. Missiles to get rid of those guys. Good. Uh, now let's make a gate. Actually, it's pretty easy to defend. There are not that many things here. Like that. And like, like this, maybe. And we are done. Like, we are protected, basically. Let's get a laser turret because we can. And, and, and we are golden. Run! No! They destroyed my poor military unit. Let's go get our revenge. Look at that. That's some firepower already. Who the hell is this guy? I think he is. Going straight for us. Okay, let's see what we have on this side. Oh, no. Can we run a missile here out of range? Oh, man. They destroyed the mine. That sucks. Hey, he's... Oh, now we have different unit there. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. When the enemies destroy your building, there is a small, like, zombie type of minion being spawned. That's 
destroying things instead of the enemy. So, like, yeah, it can get really ugly really fast. But yeah, we kind of secure that. I, I really want to see what's here, but I can't. Can we kind of take a look? We can. It's risky if we go into the dangerous territory, but it's possible to scout a bit. Yeah, this area is very open, so let's get out of there. We really don't want to go venture over there, especially with the enemy wave coming up. Okay, let's get a bit more units. And we don't have a single turret here. Also, well, yeah, we need that. <laughs> it won't hurt to have a couple of turrets anyway. They will be useful later on if we want to use them right now. Oh my god, they're here again. No. Yeah, we need... At this point of the game, I think we need to have all our areas kind of secured. So let's send two units here. Yeah, we won't be able to save this right now, but hopefully... Oh, wow, look at that. Even more of the guys coming up. Yeah. Oh my god, this is that's a Zerg attack, basically. Small one, but still. They destroyed everything here. So the enemies will be coming here. It's a good idea that we decided to add additional walls there. I also want to make sure that we can defend from those guys in the back of our base. Okay, good. We kind of secure the positions. So let's rebuild the mining hub. Can we make... We need a thumper here to secure that spot. That will give us a lot of resources. We have enough to... No, we don't have enough to make another thumper right now. Here they come, the big fella. Let's fight him. So do you see that there is a huge amount of enemies? That's the wave. And we can use our skills here in order to deal damage to them to do some aoe but yeah overall if we don't have protection at this point we are pretty much screwed because they will just zerg us and destroy everyone but because we had that we secured the position and now we can go elsewhere elsewhere will be we need to secure this area we have mountains on top so we might have use for that area for ourselves Let's start expanding. Let's let's build thumpers. All right. So one can be over here. Let's send the units there. All right. We have 50 uh, crystals. That's a bad thing because we are overusing them. Uh, what do we want to do when we are in that scenario? First of all, we need to repair some ship parts. There we go. That should help. Um, nice. So yeah, don't ever have too much resources. I think I want to place Thumper here in the middle. Because over there it feels like it's a safe area. So if we'll place it somewhere right here. Area not suppressed. Okay. I want too close to enemy. There we go. If we'll be able to score uh, the passageway here. That will allow us to have... Well, pretty safe way of dealing with stuff. So now what we need to do is... Uh, like We have to secure this area and make sure that no enemies will spawn in a large amount of units to destroy our construction here. So let's send reinforcements there. South is pretty much protected and that will allow us to focus on the right area instead of going upwards and all the sides at the same time. Let's send those guys for help. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think single unit isn't enough right now for the defense. Yeah, moreover, uh, we should get more housing again because we can. <laughs> because housing is important once you will run out of uh, population those guys here your income will suffer greatly and uh, we really don't want that that's very easy way to slow down your progression okay we need reinforcements here oh look at that they just pounded and destroyed a bunch of my stuff here okay did we last one we last one unit oh my god that's so bad. Look at that. They are spawning like crazy here. And it's our role to prevent them from destroying what we are building here. <laughs> and as you can guess, it's not easy. Oh, we're losing units. Come on. This is crazy. Why they are spawning? Stop moving. And during that time, someone sneaked through our defenses and destroyed some of our stuff. And someone is trying to sneak over there. And... Uh, we are not losing energy, at least, so it's not that bad. Hey, look at that. Where did that guy come from? Can we launch missiles? Too late. He's too far away. Oh my god, I don't want all of you to move, you idiots. I selected the general. I love it, like... Ugh. I think it's not supposed to happen like that. This is bullshit. So yeah, I guess I will um, abandon this idea. And we will just build a goddamn fucking thumper right here, because this is not right. This is taking too long. We are spending way more resources, so this is like 
high risk, high reward uh, tactics. And as you can see, it didn't pay it off. We lost a lot of time, a lot, and got nothing in return other than casualties and losses and all that stuff. All right, so let's get the power stations back and uh, we will need another pump somewhere, somewhere here. Uh, yeah, and I would like to send two of the guys to defend here. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's what happens when you're moving into the hostile territory, basically. Spaceship, right. We can build a gun, the cannon. That will help drastically later in the game. Uh, also, we have um, pretty good, actually. Everything's pretty good. Let's build another manufacturing zone. That will allow us to get pretty decent crystals income without worrying about other things. So I think it's totally worth it. Uh, let's start expanding in other areas as well, because that's not enough. Like, building one area isn't everything. Let's build a thumper. I want it to right here. Let's do that. I hope it will be able to be safe. There we go. Now this area is secure, and we can safely move there, destroy everyone we see here. And yeah, you see this? Like, that area is safe. But we can't get there because, yeah, it's a bit problematic. <laughs> there we go. The gun is ready so we can use it against the enemies. Just like that. Select the gun. Select the enemies. They will suck. Oh, wow. Hello there. Why there are so many of you? We got level up. Uh, secret stash. Extra crystals, extra ore, extra uranium. Is it like... I think it's a one-time bonus. Refill the ammo of all guns. Or space up gun... Uh, let's get refill ammo of all guns it's a passive so i like that now we need another thumper uh right here so we can thumb this area out and i want to send my unit over there for defense two of those guys there we go so that thumper is complete as well and now we can build a mining hub over here look at the amount of mining resources it can earn us Good. And this area can have several layers of defense like that, and that will help us later on with the stronger waves that will destroy us. There is also... What the hell is this? Some secret resources. Pretty nice. So for now, those guys should stay here and defend while we are expanding ourselves. Yeah, the enemies keep crawling from here. I don't want that, so we need to clear this as well. And we already learned that we want to be careful about building thumpers. Don't place it somewhere outside. That will work, but that will cost us way too much. So let's build one over here. Slow and steady expansion, guys. Not enough effort. Yeah, we obviously need to expand a bit more in terms of the pumps and housing. So let's get this pump here. We will have to build a lot of stuff. Habitats are really cheap though, so it's really easy to get a lot of them pretty fast. But yeah, early on, that's all you have. You need to get specific resources, specific areas that will allow us to get higher uh, yield buildings, basically. And that's not anytime soon. We need to find specific place where we can build a laboratory. So before that, we are a bit tied down. So, we need to get more crew right now. Construct, because we have way too many empty spots. And uh, let's repair the empty module as well. There we go. Spaceship is giving us 70 uh, effort. And we are getting 132. That means that our base is really inefficient. Oh, look at that. The big fella is coming here. Good stuff that we've put those guys for defense, right? Let's get more housing now. Okay, now I want to find... Well, we can build housing here as well. Not enough effort. All right, there we go. So we can secure this area now. Can we? No, don't, don't do that. We want more houses here. Like, honestly, this is one of the most important aspects of the game. Balancing your combat progression and uh, economy growth. So you will not run out of resources. How much time do we still have 20 ticks oh go away yeah we still have 20 ticks before the enemy will get to us so we should be okay for now we're under attack where oh those guys are doing ranged oh look at that so much damage taken by our guys yeah it's that guy that guy you can see that bam that fella that fella can easily decimate the entire crew so you gotta manually avoid that i think this is a shitty mechanics honestly because those guys if you will be uncareful if you leave your guys uh, for a second they will just destroy your entire team all right that's additional water for us and we will need more power again so let's get some power panels here and uh, i'm not sure where exactly 
do we need more of those all right so we kind of oh we got 50 of those things again that's pretty cool so for now i guess the spaceship will support all our efforts <laughs> because we will expand that one. Oh no 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 run where the hell did that guy come from that sucks you can see how easy you can lose your units here oh look at that that's a dead end that's nice i think it's a dead end we're under attack where oh, over here okay good um not good but i mean we can handle that yeah i'm not sure yeah this is the dead end so we don't have to protect that area that's nice that's easy but still this area is pretty open it's like wide open but it have green lands so we can easily capture it and use it for our own good but for that we will have to secure this position somehow look at that another lobber those guys are lobbers they they do that range damage and their range is way higher than our guys range look at that not that dangerous if you see them and you can micro control your guys but if you will be somewhere else oh my god <laughs> your units will die horrible death so the plan is uh i thought that we have allies there i can't find any the plan is to build a thumper here in order to conquer the green areas so we can expand more houses and everything where can we make we need to build habitats in three by three pattern because uh later on we can use it for other things let's put it like that there we go let's put them there all right we can actually right now at this point in the game place several thumpers so we have one over here that will secure everything up to this position and we can place one over here that will secure everything up to this position maybe we should go to the right i don't know wait let's check it again this this yeah, and i want to make sure that there are no oh okay wait wait for it wait for it bam i want to make sure that there are no uncharted territory over there so all the areas inside our base should be kind of secured so there shouldn't be an issue where the enemies can spawn in the back of it and destroy everything that's uh, an opportunity they can take and i don't want them to do that okay now well now i don't have enough effort for anything so we should wait all right spaceship again we need additional thruster i think this is like 49 percent something so it's not enough so just like that you will go like one tile after another let's attack this one because we got enough units so they will fight off the aliens here and we can get that area as well was it someone going for us no okay we're good honestly we need to expand here as well and defend that area but uh with the influx of resources that we have right now it's it's not enough like we won't be able to secure that instead we can place actually several of those water buildings just like that i hope no one will spawn there they usually don't spawn in the yellow zone they do spawn in the red zone only so we should be okay but who knows how many troopers do we have here oh, we have plenty so let's send those guys to clear off that area that will be group three so we can actually expand here as well also i want to know what's that ah that's science it seems like it's science let's bombard everything here <laughs> there we go some firepower of our ship securing the positions gotta be careful okay the water is here that's nice we will need power again because we don't have enough solar panels three by three we can use it for our own good yeah this can be good for solar power okay careful this is a really good place actually because it doesn't have any enemies getting close to it oh run 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 micromanagement guys starcraft style bam oh my god they're too close let's run let's just run they will destroy the thumper now oh my god my guys are so weak okay well it wasn't that bad it was bad but not that bad right or not let me know in the comments if it was that bad <laughs> all right i need to explore again because i have no idea there are so many enemies here and some rockets here i guess look at that army Ooh, the spaceship did a really good job here yeah i need more units let's get more units so yeah the only way to find out what will happen is to clear everyone and uh that way we will know if there is a mountains here so we can wall off or not because right now it's just an open space and i have no idea how to protect that and the enemies will be coming really soon in five ticks so we can wall off here yes but we can't wall off over there on the right it's too big of an area there are some mountains here so maybe 
I don't know. We can actually send our guys here to explore. Spaceship crew efficiency is okay-ish. Let's get another mining area. Let's get additional quarters. And that's, well, that's about it. Yeah, one shot at you, bastard. So yeah, I'm not sure how to defend this area. It's wide open and I have no idea. I think since we're not going left at this point, we should protect the left area. Because that's the only way how we can survive here. If the wave will come this side and we are not protected, we are not ready, well, we are screwed. And not just screwed, but royally screwed. So there we go. That will be some, some walls. Also, we will need some of those things. Oh, not really. <laughs> Too expensive. They don't like the fact that I'm building the towers here. Look at that. Let's send the reinforcements while we are preparing. Okay, they're coming from the left. I am extremely lucky. So that was very good. Uh, we can defend here. It should be okay. We just need to... Oh, wait. <laughs> we don't have the defense. We don't have the additional layer of defense here. Uh, let's make one. So like this. That's so easy. Defend this area. Additional laser turret. Oh my god, no. We need crystals. We spend them all on the ship. Although I see mountains here. That's a good sight. And that's a good sign for that right area. Look at that stuff. That's spawning enemies as you destroy it. There are a lot of enemies here. Whoop! We got the ranged. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't only have the ranged. We got a lot of enemies attacking us. Hold right there, you scum. All right, we can secure that area. That's good. All right, we got the laser tower in place. That's already pretty good. And I think we will need additional layer of walls here just for this defense. Because, yeah, because we need that. <laughs> Too many enemies coming. So, right, we clear this area pretty well, I say. What now? We have plenty of resources. Uh, not really high income. But we are getting somewhere, at least. Let's get the laser tower here for additional defenses. Also, I want to make sure that this area won't be leaked. So, I want to have a bit more towers, like, here and here. We got level up for the captain. Remote turret. Uh, that's a manual. I don't like that. Micro rocket cannon. Oh, this is cool. That's another AOE skill. We got three AOE skills now. That's cool. Oh, there we go. We got the friendlies, finally. I thought, where the hell they are? Here they are. I'll show you how they work after we'll deal with uh, with the best terrorists here. <laughs> My god, how do we protect this area? We need to leave a couple of guys here behind. Oh, some of those unborrowed. Watch out for flyers. That's not good. Yeah, that the movement mechanics isn't really great in this game. Because my guys decided to wander around instead of following orders. So those guys will stay here and protect. In case if someone will decide to attack us. And someone will obviously will decide to attack us while we are busy with fighting. That always happens. Oh, very timely. We just get in. Just now we're getting the walls there. Can we place a bunker as well? The spaceship is being attacked too, by the way. So we got aliens incoming. So we can't really do much. We need to build an armor here. They usually come together in waves like uh, enemy ship is attacking our ship and enemy forces on the ground is attacking our forces on the ground. So it's like, try to protect against everything, you fool. Yeah, I don't really like that. But yeah, they're coming straight to this area, I guess. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about the bottom. Where is my reinforcements? Okay, they're good. All right, let's see how that will go. Flyers, where are we under attack as well? This area is pretty secure, it's not that bad. Repair while we can. Okay, laser tourists over there protect from flyers, that's good. Because they can sneak past my defenses and destroy everything. In the base, in the back, and everywhere. Not nice. Here, I will just... This is ugly as hell. Like, I'm not sure how I can focus on defenses here. Something like this. But why there is no wall right here? This is so weird. Okay, there we go. That will give us the wall, at least. So we won't have the sneaky bastards coming in, in our backs. The enemies are already here, destroying everything we have. The guys can't reach them. They are too far away. We are good in terms of energy. That's good. And we have this at our disposal. And that's pretty effective, I should say. Can we do... No. Can we do... No. Can we do... Yes. We can do this there and this here. Bam, bam, bam. Totally decimated. Even the outer walls weren't totally destroyed. 
which is great. So now we have extra units there, right? Mm, let's send the guys back here because I want to finish clearing this area. And here I want to expand. Do I want to expand here? I'm not sure. I definitely want to expand here. Here afterwards it's wider, so it will be harder to defend. But it's space that we will need. So probably we do want to expand. Let's get some housing here. Meanwhile, we will need some water. So we need additional pump. In the green areas. All right. And some solar panels, of course, because what can you do without the solar panels in your life? Where should we place them? There is one missing here. Yeah, maybe, maybe a couple of those here. All right. And we... Ah, we don't have resources to upgrade that. Oh! Pliers! Destroyed my thing here. Yeah, I would like to expand afterwards. I don't like that. I like that mine. It gave me so many resources. Uh, we can make one mine over here. We don't need this, first of all. That's a waste of energy. And we need one over here. Our guys are stuck a bit. <laughs> should we send them all here? I think we should send them all here. So there will be bigger group of my guys fighting. So let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, we need to move towards allies first. Uh, we have so many things to do. All right, at least we have a good group of uh, military units here that can move around. So I'll just just go here, I guess, linear fashion. With this thumper and send those guys for support. Okay, another thumper over here. Yeah, this is pretty much the border with the ally things. I feel way more secure now than before. All right, once this will be protected, we can clear that. We can connect to allies. We got to figure out this area as well. So we will need additional thumper over here too, to make sure that this area is safe. That's a lot of space, to be honest. Not that useful, but still our space. Let's get this mine when the guys will move. Oh, they don't like me. Let's get the ore mine here. Not enough effort again. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you say I don't have enough effort? Let's get the repair here. We need the generator. Not enough crystals. Okay. We have 24 crystals per tick, so that's actually pretty good. Some big amounts of enemies moving in. Saved. Okay, so housing. Water is negative. Let's get additional pump somewhere where we can fit it. Huh, that's good. I'm lucky with the green areas this time. I don't like the construction speed in this game. It takes forever to build those things which are far away from the base. And you can't do anything before they're built. That's... A bit annoying if you ask me but i mean probably there are not many things we can do about that so let's send those guys here and send those guys there so we will scout straight into allies territory why they are spawning even though we are not in the enemy territory when this shouldn't be the case let's go inside you see those small guys those are our friends all right let's destroy all the enemies here for now, they're like, we don't care if you are friend or foe, but at some point, we should be able to do this, connect to their main building, and that will make them our allies, so they will fight for us. And that will be really handy, because this area is so open, and that will kind of protect us from the big chunk of area. Uh, something just exploded. Yeah, of course, some enemies leaked through our defenses. Of course, what else could have happened? My god, this is always happening. Like, unless you are totally walled off, some small bastards will go through defenses and crawl into your base and destroy something valuable. And you can't wall off all the time, as you can guess. <laughs> Alright, so this area should be pretty safe soon. Uh, let's go destroy those guys at the top. That will make this area way more secure. We will just wall off over there or something. Alright, and uh, we're under attack. Of course we are. Let's get some housing here as well. I will actually place it here. So that will be like one, two, two districts like that of housing. And one more over here. And we will plant the water straight away because I'm pretty sure that won't be enough. Let's place the water here. And we will need the solar panels, of course, because that will require a lot of energy. So let's place them here. Uh, that's enough. Okay, good. 
and for the spaceship of course we need to upgrade the spaceship as well um do we have this armory let's get one it will help us to protect and another manufacturing zone there we go we spent all our resources which is pretty cool because we got a lot way too many if you ask me all right yeah that's a really good area to oh they just killed my unit there but that's a good area to defend because we can just wall off here and uh fend off if we need to how did this ha why are you here guys if you can't shoot anyone look at that my god no where are my other units do i have anyone here no okay that can be recovered oh no 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 that will that will cause a lot of issues oh my god well we have to fix it fast so let's do this we need to connect this like that otherwise it will go haywire really fast how the hell do they go through my defenses here where are they coming from this is ridiculous and we need additional thumper here that was destroyed and we need additional thumper here because i want this area to be mine yeah over there we don't have enough effort now well at least it didn't fully screw up my base because it could if this thumper would fail and it will at some point we would have to fight everyone again i'm just waiting for those guys to become friendly so we can just massacre everyone around us last water uh yeah we're low on water i think we lost the pump as well somewhere here not sure let's get one here let's get additional pump over there so that will give us energy and water and we get really good effort income to be honest so it's not that bad we're under attack where who what oh okay they just decided not to fight at all why are you here guys your range is non-existent or something it's all right in any case we are waiting for those guys to become friendly which is a mistake because we need to clear everything around here how about a thumper over here that can be paired with the oh this is a bad idea that can be paired with a pretty decent laser turret yeah now i have to take care of enemy ranged units that like that fella like that fella over there this is how it is it's like it's a bit annoying because even if you have the biggest army i had huge army ones and they were all really get him and yeah my whole army was almost instantly decimated by four of those guys they just bombarded my crew and and, and they all died <laughs> so i was like mm, not nice of course not nice this is a bit imbalanced another one and if you go straight for it as you have guessed already other guys will get you oh look at that some enemy group is coming over yeah fighting those small guys is always a hassle even if you have a big army that still won't be easy because they will still run around and demolish your stuff uh all right we have the enemy wave coming soon we are not ready again because we don't have any defenses set up and i have no idea how to set them up here because we don't have any place that we can wall off here it's like the huge open space oh there we go at least our guys here are friendly now look at that they're massacring all the enemies that's that's great at least some good news for us and a tip if the enemy wave will go through their camp they won't help they will still be defeated and die so yeah you sh we shouldn't count on them as like there are enemies why I haven't sent my guys there I don't know so yeah they're they're not our lifesavers basically they're pretty strong though look at that they're messing the enemies up that's great so what do I want right now um I want to wall off here somehow maybe like that I have no idea because this is very open space and I have no idea how to protect that like this is the worst we could wall off here and and that's it because everything else is out of our capabilities what can I do though I can make a cluster defense in this scenario we can put the turrets on the choke points like that and surround them with the walls that will allow us to have some basic cluster defense and if the enemies will get there they will have to first destroy all that before moving forward so that might work i wouldn't say it's the best idea ever but it will be something so i think we should create those um along the way i think i've created the mine here I didn't have enough resources. I don't remember. I still don't have enough water, by the way. 
so we need more pumps. Yeah, I want to make sure that I will protect this area before we move forward because that will help us to defend as well. Let's get mine here. This is a pretty strong village, by the way. It's not that bad. And yeah, I want to make sure that by the time the enemies will come, I will have the full stockpile of crystals and effort so I can uh, fortify the defenses um, on the side where the enemies will be coming from. Let's get rid of more enemies. Maybe we will see something. Oh, it will help us to protect. What the hell is this? 15 ah, crystals okay let's upgrade the spaceship then again so we can uh, actually get our access to another turret slot which is nice and we also need more power so let's do this meanwhile um we need to do some upgrades in the base so the water is flowing <laughs> but it's wait that's not the right building but that's not enough we still need more water and we need more electricity as well because we got only plus six this is a bad case for us 12 13 that's not enough so let's make a couple of those here even though they are not really protected that will help us and a couple of habitats again so we will be where do i get the habitats now yes yeah, so we can get some the problem is we are out of safe space basically like whenever we build the habitats that area will be dangerous now because it can be attacked by enemies because we're out of safe space there we go turrets are actually helping us to defend this area finally i want to scout this area i think we can kind of fortify it somehow because this should be the end of the road all right the module empty i really need energy before the enemies will come so we'll be able to use the cannons i need the second cannon as well ah there we go we got another friend list here this is pretty cool nice to know where is your base area guys yeah it, we should be really careful not to randomly attack them because that might happen and that will be an issue flee you you fools flee there we go yeah turret have no energy you see that that's a really bad sign so if the enemies will come <laughs> and we will be out of energy this will happen it just won't shoot and we will lose everything again it's so easy to lose everything in this game all right i want to get a thumper and connect to those friends of mine how much time do we have, have five turns we should be able to finish the thumper in this area before the enemies will come i think because I want it to be a bit risky this time. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. So let's try something like this. And the guys will stay here. And honestly, I think I need to get more of those guys. More of our teams. They are long range and they can do some AOE damage. So that would be nice. All right. We finished our preparation here. So let's make a wall. And let's make some defenses. There we go. That will be something. It's a good start. We can also destroy this and make it second layer of defense just in case. Because if the enemies will go from that wave, from that side, we shouldn't be able to protect against that with what we have over there. No, we don't have turrets here as well. That's not good. As I said, I would like to have some just for the protection from random stuff. We would like to protect from flyers here as well. But, oh, look at that. This thing got destroyed again. How? How? Don't ask me. I have no idea. Although, we can do this instead. So the enemy is coming from the left again. We need to secure this position now. Good stuff that we ordered some turrets here. Who's bombarding us and where? Oh, we got the turrets in place. That's nice. Now when we have the lasers, it's nice. Okay, and we now need to secure this area even tougher. So additional layer of walls everywhere. It would be pretty much mandatory. Even more turrets. And we need additional turret here, of course. Do we have enough resources? No. Do we have enough power? Uh, we could use more, but it should be okay for now. And also, we would like to have some uh, double tier defense here as well. So, we fortify this. And we can fit turret inside of this area. Why we have energy leaking here? I think someone is bombarding our friends here. That's a bit annoying, but we can't really do anything about that. Under attack. What the hell? My friends are useless. There we go. We need some defenses here. Oh, this is neat. This guy just destroyed my stuff there. So what I mean by uh, double layer defense, we get additional laser turrets on the outside. Right, let's get those guys inside. They don't need it there anymore and uh, we secure them with additional layer of walls it might not work <laughs> sometimes but most of the time it will 
I can build here. I think there are enemies nearby. Uh, we don't have crystals. But yeah, that should allow us to have pretty decent defense. And also, I think we need to fortify this spot because it's only one gate. And that's it. So that can end pretty fast for us. What about the barracks? We have pretty decent amount of troops here. Mm, let's get more mortar, guys. They are, at least they are long range. Oh, the enemies are coming already. That's not nice. We're not ready for them. But... If we'll be able to put the defenses here in time. Like walls. There we go. There we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's a serious defense right here. That should greatly boost our defense. I think they're going for this area. Not for the top gate. We're under attack where? At the bottom. Where exactly? Small cannon. We're being attacked here too. We can build stuff now. Ah, wait. Someone is trying to break this thing. Don't, please. Okay, now I forgot <laughs> where they have... Oh my god, we don't have time for this. We gotta move. So we gotta move all our troops there. Um, here, I think we can move those guys to protect this area now. That should be sufficient. Yeah, I think they're coming over here. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's try to add additional layer of walls. While we still can. Okay, move all the units here. Move those guys here as well. They will greatly help with their mortars and stuff. Can we actually fit? Yeah, there we go. Now we're good. Now we should be okay. Moreover, we can fit additional cannon here. And do we, have resource? we don't have resources for that. Honestly, my tip for you guys. If you would like to have those mortar team, assign them to the different team. Because otherwise... They will just stay somewhere in suicide. <laughs> All right, we're here. The enemies are here as well. They're coming straight from the bottom. They don't care about moving around all that. It's time to bombard this thing a bit. Bam! Oh my god, those things do so much damage. Now let's do another bombardment from the hero. Bam! Oh, so good! Look at that. Most of them are already defeated. Our bombardment team is working as well, destroying them. I think we gotta go outside and finish them off. Because most of, like, that's a minor amount of enemies left. Yeah, they will keep coming if we won't destroy them. And the problem is, those bastards, they do those ranged attacks. And their ranged attack sucks balls. Oh, no, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, they just decimated my entire trooper group. Because, because of this goddamn fog. I hate those guys. Like, this is the worst so far I've seen in the game. But yeah, overall, I would say we did a really good defense here. We need to finish off this thing, though. Okay, good. Whew, nice. Okay, so, where are we where? What now? How much time? How many waves do we have? Increased alien activity, 120. Hmm. Sadly, it doesn't tell you how many uh, enemy waves you have defeated, so you don't know if you are winning or losing. But for the next wave... Oh, I'm sorry. For the next... The, come on. For the next wave, we would like to make sure that our ship is fully prepared and uh, that uh, we have defenses from all around because I think it will be way more powerful enemy attack. We have some minor attacks from enemies here and there. Uh, can we bombard this guy? He's annoying. Our turret can't reach him. We need the engines here as well. He doesn't care. Yeah, this is more of AOE attack than... Oh, come on! Yeah, anyway, let's send our main guys over here. Because we need to connect to our new allies. I'll try to sneak it. To sneak my way in around the enemies. And yeah, I think we can only build connectors here. So we can build thumpers. So we have to move around them in a way. In order to get access to their territories and stuff. <sighs> Habitats. Again, we need them. Uh, we can't feed them here. Not enough space. We can feed them here inside of this area. This is pretty useless for anything else. I need to get technologies, guys. But we can't get access to the technologies yet. That's a really uh, major drawback. That in order to get the laboratory, as far as I understand, like, you need a specific place on the map. If you haven't found it, you are in trouble. So let me show you. Laboratory, lab. Uh, it cannot be built anywhere, right? It have to be built on specific 2x2 two two slot, which is <laughs> nobody knows where, because it can be anywhere on the map. And since you can't really scout unless you expand, uh, this is painful. So it's about luck sometimes. Okay, first we gotta take out those guys. 
in order to get access to this territory. Okay, let's get the connector ready. Okay, now it's connected to their base. I like how the guards randomly went somewhere. How? Why? I, they were pulled by my group, I guess. So it was more, of le more or less the accident, which is kind of weird. But that's how it is. Yeah, we need thumpers. Kind of reaching here. Here. So we could expand three dots like that. And we are being bombarded here again. And as you remember, that might just destroy my entire team now. Uh, who the hell is bombarding me? This guy. Bombard yourself, please. You bastard. Okay, we need to send those guys here for production capabilities. No, you don't. They're just craving to attack me. This is annoying. Another annoying thing that I still have no idea how to properly suppress everything around me. Let's build one suppressor here. And we need water again. But that shouldn't be a problem with that much area. Yeah, you see the problem is that expansion takes a lot of time. So it's not that easy as it seems. It's not just we go there and we win. At least I haven't found a way to increase my stockpile limits. So uh, you have to live with this like two upgrades limits of stockpile. Okay, we got the pumps. We will need energy again really soon. Where did I build the energy place? I didn't. <laughs> All right, let's build it here. So I'm just waiting to finish the construction so we can get access to the areas that we're not supposed to get access to, I guess. Aliens coming. Bad for them, we have the tools here. So the thumper is complete and it doesn't really opens up the entire area. We still have to scout it manually. Hey, this is the laboratory piece. Can we build it there though? I hope we do. Because that's a lifesaver for us. There is another one. Oh my god, this is so wrecked. Ah, this doesn't kill it in one shot. What a bullshit, look at that. We lost most of our troops. We don't have anyone left because those guys just decimated us and oh this is so stupid we lost everyone where are we sending the troops we lost everyone like literally only hero is left everyone is dead oh my god yeah this is right at the edge of the enemy territory wait we can't build here we can okay good i want to see what's there those guys aren't going anywhere ah those are more of our team okay we don't need them anywhere so we need to expand again one more time in order to get everything here my god my hero died <laughs> ah, oh no how did it happen everyone is dead my fucking god this is ridiculous how do i recover my goddamn dead idiot captain this is so stupid. Okay, at least we got more allies now. There should be a way how to get the captain back. All right, at least we have some allies who are fighting for us. So that's something. The cool thing that the enemy wave is coming and we have like zero troops, which is always a nice thing, of course. Maybe let's build more barracks. Let's try that. All right, let's get another thumper here again for expansion, protection, whatever we want to do. Because we really need that laboratory and as ASAP, like, we need it right now. And there is another guy coming right after him, of course, because... Because they can. Totally missed. And we have no troops to... Oh, we have some. This is ridiculous. I'm just... I have the save file. I will lose that. That's a good thing that I saved. Because after that, we lost everything for really stupid reasons. Like, two units destroyed entire army. That shouldn't be the case, right? Okay, let's not push too much. Let's fall back, actually. Look at that. This is a huge group of units. How many? 18 units. Got instantly decimated by a couple of enemies. How do you like that? I don't like that. I'll tell you that. Ship doesn't have energy. Okay. So, yeah, I still think that we need to build a couple of barracks. Now, we don't have crystals now, of course. Whatever you want, Stan. Have everything for you. All the stuff that you want to suffer about under attack by who by someone i think it killed all my units there like i don't oh no they're here yeah that's the issue that when you are fighting an enemy you can't get distracted otherwise you will lose everything you have shoot you idiot okay we survived this this time oh no we didn't some units are lost like one two three four five i guess because of the ranged enemies and all that crap all right now so once again we try to get this thing here 
some enemies are coming again somewhere and we connect it to this <sighs> at least we're still alive that was infuriating we have full stuff for the ship let's attack those guys let's move and clear this area and we need better thrusters i guess but we need to clear more area for that where are our oh we got the tunneler here if it's not there it's here then did we got him of course not why my allies aren't fighting thank you god damn it wasting my money i think i should just put additional turret here because my guys can't protect anything for the love of god and i actually would like to start putting turrets here as well i will need them anyway if not now then later uh yeah and i want more units so let's get additional barracks down or under attack where by whom why by the fucking underground bastard stop moving the controls are a bit weird wait we did we last that yeah we lost it so we didn't just lost the units we lost the thumper well we got another one here but we need another one here to secure this area someone is coming already oh we can do this okay that's not that bad oh, i didn't work that bastard decided to go through it because i don't want to move if i will move it will trigger the enemies next to that place and they will attack me instead so laser turret please can't place on the place of minerals this is painful all right we have the full crystals so let's move on yeah crook waters engine good the barracks are being constructed but not fully one two three barracks didn't work or it did it did okay let's get more troops yeah meanwhile we just wait because if we will move somewhere everything will go to hell can you launch a rocket at this bed no it's too far away i don't like that artillery unit that spews an explosive bile and is adept in at blowing apart light infantry or peppering away at fortifications What's his range? Two. Range is two. My unit's range is 1.3, so... That kind of gives you everything you need to know about that enemy. How annoying that is. Alright, we will need to build this as well. Because we need a laboratory as soon as possible. We got the turret! Finally! Let's make some walls here. Yeah, so much for walls. Oh well, better than nothing, I guess. Found cargo! So we got some free crystals! Yeah, I honestly want to get more turrets so we can get higher rate of fire. I don't know if it, that actually adds anything, but it feels it is, so why the hell not? Let's get more manufacturing, because right here, I don't have space to build anything right now. <laughs> Even though I can get some water, that wouldn't help. Everything is so slow in terms of construction. Yeah, let's build a thumper at least. Thank you. Oh yeah, I wanted to make the defensive structures here, do you remember? Let's do that. It's better to get ready for that way earlier before you actually need that. Because I don't plan expanding north anymore, so that will be a dead end. Finally, we got the thumper. That's something. Let's wait for the laser turrets and then wall off. Oh, actually, we can start walling off straight away if we can. Ah, we need to wall off here or here. It doesn't matter. And fine. Ah, uh, okay, there are enemies. Maybe that's why. But we can't. It seems we won't be able to build it because it's on the territory of our allies. Okay, we can go now. We have turrets here, so we should be able to secure this area completely. All right. Can we build it? No, we cannot. The enemies will be coming from the south next. So probably here again. So what do we do? We will um, fortify this area again. Add additional turret. Mm, there was one turret there back in the day i guess add additional walls and and pray pray that that will be enough the enemies are like what the hell is this i want to break it apart of course you do because you're idiots okay at least this area is more or less secure now so i don't have to worry about being overwhelmed or anything like that i really had high hopes for um this laboratory i guess not let's destroy this fella i don't like him why he's so tough he just doesn't want to die oh we la look at the damage we got from random enemies this is ridiculous um yeah i really hope let's save again ah we saved before uh ooh, that will be ooh, save so i want to know where the enemies will come they will go that way and if they will go this way we are screwed because those guys aren't our friends yet i don't know why 
Ah, someone destroyed something there. That's why. I have a feeling that's the reason. What's happening? Oh, whoa. Look at that. There is a huge wave of enemies coming. Come back. They really want to fight. They just destroyed it and like, huh, nice. So much for protected bases, goddammit. We need to start making protection here, I guess. How though? That's, an, that's a totally different question. Yeah, I, that would be stupid to spend resources on that right now. When the enemies are already coming. Why I can't select... This is so weird. Where did this guy come from? Yeah, they're coming non-stop from here now. They like that place. But the enemy wave is here as well, so we are not al alone in this. And mm, where is my mortar team? I want my mortar team to be on spot. At least they're coming here. So that's something. Let's start bombarding straight away. Yeah! Space attack! And we can bombard that space where their ranged units are, so they will not do shit to us. Can you shoot something, dear captain, out of range? Of course out of range! Why the hell are you standing there where the rest of your troop? Oh my god, the game, what the... Why? Just why? You could save so many defenses like that. Okay, most of them are de de destroyed. Wait, we're losing power. Holy shit, the flyers came through. Wait, we forgot to look at that. Let's load the game. I don't like that. We don't have time. Well, can we? How do I close this shit? If we'll be able to defeat them fast enough, that would be okay. Yeah, we managed to protect most of our housing, so it's not that bad. Those guys are our friends now, so that's good as well. This thing isn't connected anymore. That's not good. <laughs> so we'll last... What? We'll last some power panels here, right? And because of that, I'm building some additional anti-air defenses. Well, basically everywhere. Fantastic. We have been bombarded by some shit enemies from the range. Okay, we managed to defend. They kind of destroyed something here already. How? How did they manage to destroy something? Yeah, big... I know how, with their goddamn artillery, because it's... Oh, wait, that shouldn't be this. It should be the gateway. Because their artillery is almost... Like, it's really powerful. Let's put it like that. It shouldn't be like that. We need connection here, so that... We're... That's a good thing that we build these defenses here, though. And we didn't lose that many habitats, as we could lose. So the next wave is 187, and that one will come from two directions. I'm pretty sure about that. And uh, that one will be even tougher than this one. The borrower is going right under my walls. What's happening? Oh, what the hell? How? Why? They weren't... Look at that. Well, well loading the game. Oh my god, how? Okay, so somehow the enemies managed to get through this area and destroy everything here. In order to protect against that, we will need additional turrets. The laser turrets that will protect us from the airborne threat, I guess. So, do we have time? Do we have to be here? As far as I remember, we do need to be here. Because all the enemies will be like, hey, we will destroy you. I remember that we need this to make sure it is protected. But come on! I like that you get notification that you're being attacked, but it's happening all the time, so you're like, whatever, it's nothing scary. And then, bam, your half of your base is destroyed. Your building is being destroyed. We need this notification to make sure that we know what's happening. Since we know it's gonna be here, we really would like to have some extra walls. Okay, what do we have here in the corner? I'm not sure, I wanna place all my ranged units there. Then, I would like to have some our protecting housing. I forgot what I did before all this stuff went to hell. I think we just need to get more minerals, honestly. Because it feels like it's limiting us right now. Uh, let's see if we can place mining hubs anywhere. Yeah, we can get it here. We're not doing anything with those resources. They're right here. Then we have those resources. Three... Not that much. Two... Not that much. One... Oh! So, we are actually exploiting most of the stuff that we have. That's unexpected. Okay, the enemies have spawned. Uh, our mortar team is in place. Our random guys are all in the random spots, of course. Because, some way, their order doesn't exist. So, let's send the hero there. I hope this time the hero 
will be where I asked him to be, so he can bombard the enemies too. Alright, and we need additional defense from the airborne attack. We got some turrets here and there. That should kind of protect against the most of them. We have one over here. Let's protect this area, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know where to place it, because we need them everywhere to protect against the small enemy attacks, at least. Mm, spaceship. Ah, we don't have enough resources for that. Alright, the enemies are coming again, so let's start bombarding a bit. There is one flyer over there, getting his ass kicked. I will try to focus on the long-ranged enemies now, because I hate them with all my passion. All the hate that I have is against them. Let's go, ranged attack. Bam! Where are you going? That was easy. We kind of decimated them. What about the flyers? The flyers don't care. Look at that. There is a turret. Here are the flyers. They don't give a hell. This is fun. What about the top attack of flyers? It's pretty much safe. So, I would say we did good. Where are the rest of my troops? Why I have a team of 23 units? Oh, we don't have... Oh, 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 okay. We actually lost some solar panels here. What was here? Was it the line? I don't even know how... What was here and what I should build here instead. Anyway, I'll build solar panels here. That will help us. All right, now we need to get rid of those guys and we're good. Wow, those guys are tough, but we managed. Yeah, do you see those mortar guys? Since they are falling behind all the time, they are being swarmed by enemies all the time. So they need insane amount of micro to survive. Uh, at least we survived the wave, so it's not that bad. More enemies coming up, I don't know why. Look at them, they're so tough. All right, let's build more housing then. I know the place. This is the place. And let's build another tower. And we need to connect the tower over here. And just to be sure, over there as well. Because I know how those guys can destroy those walkways. So the problem is, unless we will get our hands on some technology... Mm, we are royally screwed. Like, where are you going? Why? You can't leave this area? Yeah, they can't leave this area. Why? Oh, we blocked the passageway, I guess. How were... How did this... How did they went through this area before? Probably here. I don't want them to go around. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I really need to scout around again and try my best to find it and I will go right. Because, well, I don't see any other opportunities. We can go here as well, by the way. Let's close our... Let's go here. Because without the technology, mm, I'm not sure if we can survive anything. Huh. Yes? No? No. I don't think so. At least it won't be that easy for sure. Well, let's add some thumpers. Can we, I, I want to put it right here. Right in the middle of it. We have enough units to support that, I guess. We have towers here, we have units here. We should be okay. Uh, now we like water again. Oh, the hero finally did another level up. Let's see what we get. A new weapon, railgun. Is it a weapon? Teleport. I want the railgun. Oh, it's an equipment. What's its range? Nobody knows. Do I have to put it here? Oh, it's not... Okay, let's get this. And I don't like those rockets, they're bad. So now we can do... This stuff, it's like basically one shot and powerful entities. I will send some reinforcements here. And we lack water. And we lack electricity, they say. What a bullshit. Oh, look at that. There is someone who destroyed some of my stuff again. Let's send more help. This is so stupid how you... How easily you lose everything in this game. And how hard it is to get the research. It should be addressed, like, as soon as possible. I understand that it's first release, but, I mean, how the hell did they plan us to develop without it? That wouldn't make any sense, right? We can just raise those guys, we can destroy them, that might work. But I don't want to do that. that, that's evil. Let's send some troopers to connect them. There we go, we got a thumper in place. So let's clean those guys out of the map. Hey, that's actually a pretty safe area. If you think about that. Uh, we need, we just need additional thumper. Somewhere here, because, well... Obviously, we can't do that. So let's send those guys over there for the thumper position. 
And the rest of those will go clean everything around us. Okay, like this, like that. What about my dudes here? They're good. Our base is being attacked. Or not anymore. We're good. Okay, now we need another thumper over here. Because we need to find the second uh, spot where we can defend ourselves. Let's get more units. Because we can. Uh, let's get more... What? More water. Right, something like, like this. And you guys go clear those guys out. Because I really think that we need to establish the defenses here already. This is so past due. The enemies are all around us. Going through that area every time. Screw them. I will even send half of my units here to protect it. So we can build a thumper here. And finally we can put some defenses up there. This area is secure now. Uh, all we need is one laser turret to fight off the flying enemies and maybe help to protect the areas up north. And those guys can join these guys now. I am aggressively expanding right now. Alright, Thumper is ready. Insane amount of resources, by the way. Okay, we're getting ranged attack again. I don't know where they... Oh, no? Yes? Do I know where the enemy... Oh, we're losing a lot of units again. Yeah, you don't have time to flee, to retreat here. Because if you will, your units will be massacred. Okay, where do we have the fight? I, I hear my lasers working all the time. Ah, I think we triggered some enemies here, that's why. We kinda got into this area, but I have no idea how to properly use it for our advantage. Because yes, we can get some water, we can get some of that, we can get some of this. We can even get some metals. I mean crystals, but yeah. Maybe we can get one research right now, since we get five pound research. Let's give it a go. The first thing that we need is... Where is the technology of the better houses? Bio. Yeah, let's start with that. I wonder if that will work even if we don't have the technology building. Don't tell me it works. Am I am I that stupid? I mean, what? <laughs> How can you do research without the research building? I guess you can, but no. That would change everything so much. It will be so much easier if I could do research. Oh my god. No way. Maybe labs just help with the research. Okay! Um, yeah, that that's unexpected. Well, I mean, that would be pretty stupid that you can't do anything without that lab. And I was surprised why you can't do anything without that lab, but now I understand who's stupid here. We got the enemies incoming. Wow. That, that's, that's wow. <laughs> How the hell I couldn't notice that before? So yeah, it's slowly going. We are spending some effort for that, but everything is fine. We will get our new research soon, and that's really cool because that will allow us to get so many new things. If we can get them in time, because right now I'm fighting with the really basic units in hope of getting the, the research soon, but obviously it wouldn't happen. Ah, crocodile. Oh, wait. Our thing is being attacked again go away so there we go we got the new research biome so we can get better housing um how do you like that let's get the gazer research then and maybe reactor that will allow us to get insane amount of resources god damn it so yeah, now we have the new housing called biome which is extremely efficient it will give us even more resources although it's a bit costly um yeah i'm not sure where i can place it we can kind of defend this area somehow like over there for sure but i want it to be in the back of my base not in the front of it oh look at the amount of enemies there oh mm. yeah that would be like the safest spot honestly we can place it here i think so let's place three by three actually not three by three uh, this is in place we can't afford it okay that was unexpected the wave is really soon and we are not prepared because this thing is taking too long to build. And obviously we would be so much more technologically advanced right now. If I would notice the small thing here. Hmm. I feel really bad now. <laughs> okay, let's send those groups to clean this area. Because I need to start defending this. If the enemy will come from this side, we are pretty much done. Let's save the game. Uh, we'll call it trip because we will most likely die. Research complete, so now we get good source of water. 
And the next thing will be robotics, that will allow us to gain even more effort by placing them in the middle of our production buildings, that's why I'm building them in uh, 9 tiles, 3 by 3 basically. The enemies are coming from the good sides for us, north and southwest, we have those areas pretty well covered, but uh, I'm still really disappointed about everything that I've made so far, because this is not working as it could be like this is well you understand right that i'm very inefficient i'm just using the basic things now it, it should be a challenge this playthrough should be a challenge not just a normal playthrough so right now when we get the new buildings we we will need a lot more energy but i'm not sure that we'll be able to do it in time before the enemy will arrive we probably won't be able to do it in time before the enemy will arrive moreover i think this base will be completely demolished I will try to finish building this defensive outpost, but the chances are so slim. I think I'd better just retreat, but yeah, let's give it a go anyway. Um, I think one of the enemies already started wrecking my base. Yep, it's just there, doing its thing. And my laser turret is doing nothing. Alright, if they will come from here, we need even more era defense here. We, like, what we have here won't be enough have the crystals cut them crystals in the way that we can't even use um yeah i think we need to destroy this and put the gate instead and same here destroy this put the gate instead we don't have resources for this nice okay i want to send all those guys to fight okay the enemies are coming and I think they will go from this side. So this defense that we created here is pretty much useless. So let's let's get the hell out of here, I think. Yeah, I don't think it will help us at all. The enemies on top. We haven't finished the defense yet. We don't have power because of that. So they are already destroying everything over there. And those ranged guys are the worst. Let's remember that. Yeah, they're coming from here. Well, we can stay here and kind of and kind of do something like this. And then do something like this. And then let's try the beam. Not enough energy. Oh, we have energy for the hero. Okay. You guys run. <laughs> That's not the right place to be right now. Mm, yeah, here we will try to use more bombardment. Look at that. That's insane. You run. Why are you staying here? Use your fast feet to run away. Yeah, bombard them with everything we have. This is the worst. Oh, wait. We actually managed to survive, more or less. We need more power, though. We really are out of power and lasers aren't shooting. Mm, so let's urgently build more. What the hell is his energy? Okay, how much energy it costs? 40, 30, 35. How much this cost? Not much. Yeah, the problem is our laser turrets aren't actually working because we don't have power. Oh, God, this is so bad. We... <laughs> We survived, we won, so we just had to survive for a while. The goo retreats and the remaining crew and colonists on board our spaceship are landing safely. But we still have a long way to go to ensure our survival. Out of water. I'm good. <laughs> Cycle survived 191. We killed a lot of aliens and uh, previous best map score is kind of the same. Probably because of the score and everything. So yeah, that's how it is. You never know how many waves do you have left. <laughs> because if you can't count them in your head like I wasn't, you can be in trouble. But otherwise, it was pretty fun. I was expecting to fight another wave after this. But we managed to win, which is great. That actually unlocked us another type of map. That uh, unlocked us additional captain. So what does he do? He heals. This is cool. And uh, over time, we will get more spaceships unlocked and more uh, available game modes. So yeah, this is how the game is, guys. I have mixed feelings because on one hand, it's pretty fun. On another hand, there are really outrageous enemies that just destroy entire players' armies and the enemies, they can just one enemy sneak by and destroy everything. But that's their ability's gameplay style other than one enemy that kills everyone. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. It's been Stan Kosh. Have a good one. Bye.